Welcome to MaxSurf Webinar 6 Video 5 on Probabilistic Damage Stability. Once the analysis has been carried out, we can review the results in the results window. Hydromax will have calculated all of the probability factors, the P, R and V factors from your definition of the zones, and then after running the large angle stability for each particular analysis and damage condition, it will have computed the intermediate values from the GZ curve and use those to compute the overall S factor. The columns with the range of stability, GZ max, angle of vanishing stability, etc., are the inputs into the criteria formula for the S factor. If we go over to Hydromax and take a look at the results window, we'll see that for each combination of draft and damage zone and heel direction, then we'll have a status report about whether or not the analysis completed successfully, a list of the compartments and tanks that were damaged, the probability factors for the longitudinal, transverse and vertical extensive damage, the combination of those probabilities for the overall probability of damage, then the intermediate values for the GZ curve criteria calculation, and finally the S factor calculation. Those all combined together, the probabilities times S, give us the contribution to the attained index for that particular damage condition. If we scroll down through this table, we'll see that these are the results for the deepest subdivision draft. And then as we scroll down, there'll be further results with the same damage conditions repeated for partial subdivision and at the bottom for the light service draft. At the very bottom of the table, we'll see the overall accumulation of the attained subdivision index and out on the right hand side, as well as seeing the individual contributions from each load case, we'll see the total attained index for all load cases combined. The code combines the load cases together with 40% from the deepest draft, 40% from the partial draft and 20% from the light service draft. Those added together in factored combination give us our A value. We can compare that to our required value and Hydromax will report a pass or fail status. While the analysis was running, the log file will have been generated so that if we switch over to Excel, we can load in this log file. You can see that it's a text file and uh, this will contain the intermediate results from the analysis. So the analysis settings and scrolling down, a definition of the load cases, the properties of the load cases, the damage cases, and then for each damage case run, a tabulation of all of the results from the GZ curve. So you can see here the range of heel angles in our GZ curve analysis and the individual results from that curve. Below the GZ curve results will be the calculation of the probability of survival, the S factor, and we will be able to see in these intermediate calculation all of the intermediate values and the final computed S value. So if you do have a problem at any point, you can scroll through this table. It contains a large amount of detailed information for each of the runs and verify that the intermediate results give you the values that you expect. So what happens if you have a problem? you should check through the results and look for any error messages. So scroll through the results table and look for error messages in the status column and see if there are any damage situations for which the S factors have not been calculated. Make sure that you have considered healing in the worst case direction. So if in doubt, run the heal directions in both directions. Also, if you want to cross check from your probabilistic results back to conventional large angle stability analysis, you can use the create cases from zone damage command. And what that will do is it'll essentially copy the damage cases that have been created from the zone damage and copy them back to be normal damage cases. You can then run a conventional large angle stability or equilibrium analysis to see the results of that damage using a conventional stability analysis. There are two things uh, that we can do as far as analysis settings, analysis settings go if we don't get the results that we're hoping for. The first is that when we're computing the attained index, a lot of our attained index will come from a small number of damage cases 
And then as the probabilities of damage become smaller and smaller, the contribution to the attained index will also become smaller and smaller. But if we need that extra uh, addition to the index in order to pass, then we can include combinations with lower probabilities. And we can do that uh, by decreasing the minimum probability that we're going to consider. Also, it's possible to consider a larger number of adjacent zones. And what that means is that in a simple analysis, we might only consider one zone of damage with a resulting small floodable length. If that doesn't give us enough contribution to our attained index, then we can consider two or perhaps three adjacent zones that will consider more permutations and combinations of damage represented by each of the triangles and diamonds here. Uh, and we'll also consider damage of increasing lengths. Uh, of course, the likelihood of survival is lower, but there's still likely to be some positive contribution to our overall attained index. Finally, if none of these uh, changes work, then you may have to consider changing your compartmentation uh, and reducing the distance between watertight boundaries in order to reach the attained index. Finally, some resources on probabilistic damage. This is a rather old SAMI technical bulletin, but it's useful uh, because it does contain some worked examples. Uh, IMO resolutions, these are the source documents for and the explanatory notes uh, relating to this approach. And if you're a SNAMI member, then the SNAMI website uh, contains a number of international towing tank conference reports, including their stability port reports, which I'll often comment on probabilistic damage stability. And finally, there is a good amount of documentation in the Hydromax user manual. You can open that from the help menu to help you out. Thank you for watching our videos from MaxSurf Webinar 6. We look forward to seeing you again next month.